Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another video. So today we are taking a look at some Minecraft features that never came to Minecraft updates. From chairs that you can sit on to gears that actually work in mobs that are well a little bit strange. But we have 15 features and let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first feature that we have here is going to be Crying Obsidian. Now this was Notch's original plan for having the player set their spawn point. So you're just going to place it down, right click it and then your spawn point gets set. Because beds, they were not available at the time. And to me, I think this would have been a really cool alternative of setting your spawn point. Maybe if you're like in the nether, you can go ahead and use this to your advantage. Or maybe if you're inside the end dimension or something like that. Because right now, if you were to try to sleep within the nether or end or set your spawn point, you basically cannot. Because whenever you end up setting your spawn point, it's always just going to go ahead and take you back to the overworld and stuff like that. But, of course, you can go and craft it with this mod. It is the Rediscovered mod. I will have it down below in the description. And that is the recipe. So, next up, we have some sponges. Now, in 1.8, the Bountiful update, the sponges, they did get a brand new overhaul. Because before then, we had ourselves this disgusting sponge. Which, it didn't really do anything. But back in the classic era of Minecraft, this actually did have a function to where it will continuously absorb up water. So, if I were to go and stick it right here... I don't want to get rid of all the water, so I'm sticking it up here. But as you can see, the water will just go ahead and stay just like that. But the moment I break it, then that is when the water starts flowing down. Now, for the sponge right here, if I were to go and stick it down, this will go ahead and not continuously absorb up the water. It's just going to go ahead and absorb just a little bit of water, and then it becomes all wet, and then all the water starts coming back in. So, yep, a very good upgrade from that one. And next feature is going to be gears. So, for gears... This was going to be the original plan for redstone because before Jeb actually put redstone to the game they wanted to have the idea of having gears. Now gears would actually continuously give off a redstone output so you're going to be able to light up things for an infinite amount of times and even light up redstone. Of course for this mod it's redstone but redstone did not exist when these were initially in the game but you know the gears just would have been a very interesting piece and that's how you craft it right there. So anyway next up we have those furniture. Now, furniture is something that players have been wanting for a very long time. And in my own opinion, I would love to actually get ourselves like a functional chair. I mean, just look at this. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could actually have yourself a chair that you could sit on? This would just be incredible. But of course, the only type of furniture that came to the game was the lectern. In which that was in the most recent 1.14 update. And the lectern, this has been something that Dinnerbone was trying to implement for a very long time. And now it's finally within the game. So, array on that one. Good job, Dinnerbone. So, next up, we do have ourselves a table. And for the table, I think this would have been really cool if we can go ahead and put stuff on there. Now, I'm not too sure if you can put flower pots on this. So, if I come right up here and I go ahead and just type in flower pot, let's go ahead and test this out. Can we actually place this on the table? And no, you cannot do that. I think that would have been a really cool little feature. But if you do want to go ahead and craft these, this is how you do it. So, this for the table, it's any kind of wood. And then for the chair, it's going to be just like that, any kind of wood. So anyways, next up is the dirt slab. So the dirt slab was actually a test slab that Notch was using back in the day. I mean, it makes sense, right? Dirt is not really useful for anything except for like scaffolding and other type of things. Prior to 1.14, of course. But of course, this was just a test slab that Notch was using to test to see if slabs would actually work well. And just see what they would be like. And so again, yeah, that's basically the story for the dirt slab. And you just craft it just like any ordinary slab, but with dirt. So next up is the ruby. And this was going to be the original emerald. So you would have to use this for trading with villagers and just things like that. And so they wouldn't have like a big major use only through trading. Now I think it would be pretty cool if these were introduced in a future update. Maybe in the cave update, we might actually get ourselves the ruby. But the main reason why it was removed is because Dinnerbone, he was red, green, colorblind. Which means that he couldn't tell the difference between the redstone and the ruby so they actually had to go ahead and change the ruby to emerald at the last minute and that's the whole story for that one so next up we do ourselves the wonderful lantern now don't you thinking lanterns were just introduced in 1.14 but this is going to be talking about a feature that everybody wanted but never came to the lantern so if i go ahead and quickly switch to nighttime watch this as i walk around our world this will go ahead and continuously light up the area. And I like this little concept a lot. I think it would be pretty cool if we actually did get ourselves this. 
And a lot of people think that this was basically how it would have worked out back in the old days because lanterns, they were planned to be introduced a very long time ago. And I would really wish that this was a feature. I would love that so much. But if you want to go and craft it, that's how you do it right there. And let's go ahead and move on to the next feature, which is going to be scarecrows. So I'm actually going to go and switch it back to the daytime. And now for the scarecrows, this is actually a pretty cool little feature that I wish was actually in the game. Imagine finding these within the pillager outposts. So if I go ahead and place down a zombie, zombies actually go after these. And passive mobs, they're going to go ahead and run away from them. Now, if they were ever inside the game, the mobs would obviously run a lot quicker than that. But anyways, the next little feature here is lock chest. And you can craft it, but it's kind of useless because whenever you right click it, look what you get. Steve Co. Supply Crate. You need a Steve Co. Supply Crate key to open it. You can pick one up at the Minecraft store. So if you click on go to store, it's going to go ahead and give you a link. Now this link is not functional. So if you click on yes, it may look like it's going to take you to a page. But then it says, sorry, cannot locate page. So yep, the page is no longer available. But I'm just going to go and click on not now. And this was essentially loot boxes inside the game. Now nobody doesn't really know on what you would officially get from one of these. Because I don't think that you could officially purchase a key. Because this was an April Fool's joke. If you didn't know this was one of the first April Fool's jokes that Notch did actually do. And it was a good one at that. So anyways, we do have ourselves the next one. Which is going to be spikes. And now for the spikes, I think this would have been a really cool thing for traps. For monster grinders. And just things of that nature. So if I go and grab myself like a mushroom really quick. I'm sorry mushroom. I'm going to go ahead and click on this button. And look at that. It just grinds them up. Hey, you can't do that. And now he's he's free. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, he's running away. That's a fast mushroom. But back in the day, the initial idea about these was that these were going to be the way of pushing blocks with a piston. So these were the original sticky pistons. But if they were implemented to the game today, this would have been a really excellent thing to have for many, many traps and mob grinders, as I mentioned earlier. Now, if you want to go ahead and craft it, it's going to be just like that. And this will also hurt players as well. So you don't want to step on this thing. Next up, we do ourselves the quiver. And the quiver is extremely overpowered. And if you didn't know, the quiver was going to be introduced a very, very long time ago. And then it was going to be introduced in 1.9. That's right, the combat update. The update that everybody hated. And I think this would have been a really cool thing to have within the game. Just have another way of storing your arrows instead of having them within your upper slot or offhand slot. That just would have been really, really great. So if I go and equip it with this mod, look what it does. You can spam arrows for days. Oh my goodness, look at that. Like, this would be extremely overpowered. Like, imagine that there's, like, somebody coming after you. We're going to go ahead and pretend that the villager is that because the zombie will burn in the daylight. But if I go and grab the villager, oh no, somebody's coming. Fire! I mean, this was, I think, this would have been too overpowered. I mean, destroy that villager. We would have destroyed any player in our way as well. And now another thing about the quiver is that you can also go ahead and equip it with different armor pieces. So you can also use diamond armor. I didn't put it inside of there. But as you can see, we do got ourselves some iron chest plates. We have ourselves the chain chest plates and stuff like that. Now there's also studded armor. So if I go ahead and show you the recipe, this is how you would get the studded armor. This would be a little bit rarer to actually get because it's basically the combination of leather and chain. And the whole thing is that you would have to go out, you have to find the chain, and then combine that with the leather. But the other thing is, would it actually be worth actually obtaining? I have no idea about how good it would be. Now if I go and equip this, look at that. We got ourselves our little quiver on our back. And you know what else? We got ourselves the same functionality as before. Spam the arrows, destroy the villager's life. Um, you know what villager? I'm going to let you live this time, okay? The next feature on the list is going to be some flowers. We have the Peonia and the Rose. Now, we all remember the Rose, right? It got ultimately removed in 1.7, and everybody was quite upset about this removal. And we all have the Poppy now. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad for the Rose. I miss you, Rose. I definitely do. But, you know, the original idea, what they were going to go for, was that you'd be able to go ahead and share a Rose Bush or a Peony, and then you'd be able to get yourself one of these flowers, either the Rose or the Peonia. Now, the Peonia never did actually come to the game, but this would have been a really cool thing to actually have. That's just like a single flower and things like that. Next feature is going to be some potions that never came to the game. 
and I would really love to see these within the game and not just as a status effect. And so we got ourselves the potion of nausea, slow mining, and blindness, and getting yourself an awkward potion and combining them with Ron Flesh, that's going to go ahead and give you nausea. If you combine an awkward potion with an apple, that's going to go ahead and give you slow mining. Combine an awkward potion with a poisonous potato, and that will go ahead and give you some blindness. I know it really doesn't really make any sense for the apple or the potato, but you know what, the only one that makes sense is Ron Flesh. But I'm not the one who made these recipes, but if I go ahead and drink up any of these, watch what happens. We got ourselves blindness, and this will actually last for a little bit of time as well, for about like 30 seconds each. So you will be able to go ahead and get yourself this for a very long time. So then we got ourselves some slow mining, drank this, and now we are mining extremely slow. Now from what I've actually noticed about these splash potions, they are actually a bit broken, so they won't actually give yourself the full effect, and I don't know why that is, but that is just a thing that's going on. So I can just go ahead and drink this up, and now we have ourselves nausea, but you know what I'm just going to go ahead and do? I'm just going to go ahead and clear my effect. And finally, we're on to the final feature, which is going to be the strange mobs. So this was actually mobs that were going to be within the game a very long time ago, and thank goodness these were never implemented into the game. Now this was actually created by somebody that used to work over uh, at Mojang and his name was Doc. And he also made a logo which is up on screen. It's actually a very nice logo at that. But it, of course we got ourselves Rana. We got ourselves Beast Boy. We got Steve. And then we have Black Steve. And yeah, I'm, I'm just glad these were never introduced. Because these were very strange mobs. But if I were to go and grab myself a sword, some of these are hostile towards the player. And so, if you stumble upon these, you want to be very, very careful. So, if I go ahead and spawn in Rana, I think Rana is one of the only peaceful ones. I could be wrong, though. But if I go ahead and attack Rana, Rana is just going to go ahead and drop absolutely nothing. If I go ahead and spawn in Beast Boy, and I go ahead and whack him. And also, weirdly enough, Rana doesn't have an animation, while the other ones do. But we got ourselves some String and Gunpowder, spawn in Steve, and if you go into and eliminate Steve... So I'm sorry about this Steve, but I gotta destroy you. So he also drops some gunpowder, he drops a feather, and there we go. Yep, um, he drops some string and some feathers. And with that one, that is it for all 15 features that never made its way to the full game of Minecraft. And now please let me know down below in the comments about which one of these features were your favorite and which one would you love to see within the game. And if you enjoyed this video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. And for now, I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Bye.